So I decided I may as well just do another uh, taste test of the Peak Refuel biscuits and gravy, seeing as I had already opened it up. May as well. Got the water boiling for that as well. Let's take these biscuits out and see if we can break them up. Like I said, these things are son of a biscuit. All right, let's see how hard it is to break these little biscuits up. Oh my goodness. Nope. Oh, yeah, I did it. <laughs> now let's add some water to this sucker. All right, I got the biscuits pulverized-ish for this peak refuel biscuits and gravy meal. About as good as I'm wanting to comfortably go. Let's add the water, seal it up, and taste test it, shall we? Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. All right, well, it's been long enough, so hopefully we've got the Peak Refuel Biscuits and Gravy rehydrated. Let's take a look, shall we? <sighs> Give it a little stir. Mmm. That biscuit still feels really tough. Mm, that is piping hot. There's the contents Whoop, without me spilling it. That would be very fun. All right, let's see how it turned out. Okay, so that bit of biscuit, that bit of biscuit is a bit rehydrated. Mmm. <laughs> Woo! Mmm. So it's been about <clears throat> 15 minutes and that biscuit was, it was tough. However, if I've, as I've stated, I really prefer Peak Refuel flavor-wise to most of the others. It's got such a perfect homemade feel to it. Now, compare this to ReadyWise, which I just tested. ReadyWise is a pretty good competitor, surprisingly, with this brand new Pro Adventure Mill Premium Signature Edition. However, Peak Refuel is still number one. This is number two. I would put this above Mountain House easily. It's also really good. So anyways, that's everything for now, folks. Till next time.